Let's solve the equation y prime minus y1 equals 2te to the t. So we're looking to flip functions such that when you subtract the function from the derivative for each t, the result is 2te to the t. So you're going to find the following. Mu of t, so the integrating factor, that's equal to e raised to the antiderivative of the negative 1 dt. When you carry that out, it's going to give you e raised to the negative t. Now multiply every term by that, so it's going to be e to the negative t. Okay, and then it's going to be here, let's see, y prime, y prime rather, minus e to the negative t times the y, and on the right side it's going to be 2te raised to the negative t, multiplying e raised to the positive t. On the left side, the expression that you see, that would be the result of differentiating e to the negative t times y using the product rule, because y differentiated is y prime, copy e to the negative t, the derivative of e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t, copy the y. Now on the right side here, luckily we have 2t and it's going to be e raised to the 0 because it's negative t plus t, which is 0. But e to the 0 is 1, therefore we just end up with 2t times 1, which is just 2t in other words. So now we have e raised to the negative 2t once we anti-differentiate on the left side times y equaling the antiderivative of 2t dt plus the c. And then it's going to be e raised to the negative t times the y is equal to t squared plus c. Now just multiply every term by e to the positive t, or if you like, divide by e to the negative t, however it is to think about it. See this, e times e to the negative t, y is equal to e to the t times t squared plus c times e to the t, just like that. Again, on the left side, again, it's going to be e to the t minus t, but that's zero, so it's e to the zero, which is one. In other words, you just end up with a y on this side, y1, and then on the right side, e to the t, let's see, t squared plus the c e raised to the t. Now I just have to apply the initial condition where y of zero equals one, so we will have the following. Remember, y of zero equals one means when t is 0, y is 1. That's the point object. So plug it in. You're going to have y is equal, 1 is equal to e raised to the 0 times 0 squared plus c e raised to the 0. So it's going to be 1. And then it's going to be, okay, 1 times 0 plus c e to the 0 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. So 1, in other words, is equal to the value of c. So now our equation lastly is y is equal to e to the t, t squared, and then plus c e raised to the t but the c now we know is one so in other words here we can just say one in this position and that solves it you can check it if you find the derivative of this and plug it in subtract off the original function it will leave 2 te to the t this is a quick sort of graph of this particular solution just to see what it looks like so e to the t t squared plus e to the t there you go so this is the particular solution and notice something specific because of the initial condition right here, t equals 0, y equals 1. It really does go through right here. t equals 0, y equals 1. I'll see you in another video. See if you like.